Nightmares is the story of Charlie Laird, a young boy with a very vivid imagination. And after the passing of his mother, Charlie's father gets remarried to a mysterious woman named Charlotte, who, for understandable reasons, Charlie despises. Charlie and his younger brother move with their father into Charlotte's mysterious purple mansion, which is where Charlie's nightmares begin. Every night, Charlie is tormented by a terrible witch who wants to eat his toes. More importantly, though, she wants Charlie to give in to his fear and darkness and come live in the nightmare world forever. Charlie's quite sure that this is just an idle threat. Nightmares can't do any real harm. Until one night, the witch kidnaps Charlie's brother Josh and takes him deep into the world of nightmares. With the help of a loyal group of friends, Charlie and his gang must enter the nightmare world on a rescue mission for Josh, facing their greatest and truest fears along the way. On their journey, they'll learn that our biggest fears are the things that can give us our greatest strength, as long as we're brave enough to face them. And as always, what I learned from the Muppets and Goonies, that we're stronger together than we are apart. As Jason Siegel has eloquently described, his book instills an engaging plot, strong morals, and humor. I thought that this book was not going to live up to my expectations. Jason Siegel is an actor and not a children's author. However, I was wrong and pleasantly surprised with his book. You will find well-developed settings and characters that are illustrated by Carl Ponsi. <sighs> Razor-sharp teeth, rabbits with no eyes? Humans that are part snake? How is this all possible? But with nightmares, it is. All of the suspense and terrifying nightmares are infused with humor and strong morals, as Siegel mentioned. My two favorite passages from this book are The plan, my fellow nightmares, is simple. One, find the boy. Two, keep the portal open. Three, conquer the waking world. Four, try a crispy clean donut. Five, never die. And from page 175, if that boy leaves his nightmare now, he'll just be back tomorrow night. And next time, his fear will be worse. Every time you run away from a nightmare, it gives your fear strength. These two quotes show all of the elements in the book. Fear, humor, and morals. There are multiple themes holding the book together, and the last quote only shows one of the themes in Nightmare, that you should face your fears. If you love reading, pick this book up. Just make sure you are eight or older, because this book is not meant for babes who can't handle horror. Otherwise, Come see the magical world nightmares hold that only the quirky Jason Siegel could capture. That magic exists and that I could be a part of it. I remember looking for buried treasure. I remember fashioning a superhero costume out of household equipment and sneaking out to patrol my, um, my neighborhood at night. I wore a Superman, this is true, I wore a Superman cape under my clothes until I was 13 years old. Yeah, just in case. 